everybody welcome to the channel it's been a while since we've uh, done a finger style uh, lesson I guess uh, would be a good way to put it uh, I still have to finish up uh, we three kings I haven't forgotten it <laughs> okay so bear with me uh, we still have a little time for Christmas so uh, I'll get that finished up uh, yeah, sometime between now and let's say November about the middle of November maybe uh, maybe I'll have it done all the series done by then uh, but I just wanted to do one tonight where I, I kind of went through the intro of Fire and Rain uh, by James Taylor and kind of how I do it I don't know if it's perfect or not but uh, uh, but that it, it sounds a lot like Fire and Rain to me so let's just go with it okay uh, but I did a short on this uh, a while back uh, in the shorts tab uh, and oddly enough, that one that one went over ten thousand views, and I wouldn't have expected it to have gotten five hundred. I I guess it has a lot to do with the fact that it was uh, fire and rain, right? The topic was fire and rain, and uh, but a lot of people seem to like that tune. So I thought, well, you know, let me go ahead and just teach the opener to this tune, and and then if everybody likes it and they want to, then we'll we'll finish the tune up, and uh, and I'll go through. Uh, you know the whole thing but it's not fire and rain's not that complex uh, there there's some difficulties with transitioning to the d chord that that's the only difficulty in the opening because you you do have to move rather quick and smoothly and you you probably heard from what i did there in the opening that it might not have been all that uh uh all that smooth <laughs> so but we'll, we'll give it a shot and see uh, but I'm not gonna let this video pass without uh, uh, publicly uh, thanking God for sparing President Trump uh, former President Trump uh, that was uh, I'll tell you the Lord sure sent an angel to save that man uh, yeah I don't normally get much into politics. You, you you might be able to tell from listening to some of my videos. I'm a pretty conservative guy. Uh, but uh, God God bless that man. And uh, I was ever so thankful uh, to see the Lord turn his head at the right time. And make no mistake about it, folks. That was about as divine as it gets. So thank you, Lord, for for sparing that man. And uh, gave me a sense of, uh, I'll, I'll say it was a moment to pause and for a reminder, I think, for each of us uh, who's in control. Yeah. Anyway, wanted to mention that before we started this video. And uh, if me saying that turns you off, I don't really care. Uh, the folks uh, that I deal with on this channel are pretty darn good people. And uh, and I don't think there's one of them that's not going to understand that comment at all. All right, folks, fire and rain. So this is not a complex song to do. So one, one of the things you're going to do is uh, K-Pole on the second fret up here, okay? And then we're going to count off... Uh, or frets starting right here on this G bar, the right here on this third fret, and we're going to call it uh, uh, fret number one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and uh, and and we'll walk through it that way. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to come up to fret number one, two, three here with your capo on the second fret, and you're going to put uh, your ring finger across. Uh, uh, strings one and two and you're going to take your middle finger go to string three and on um, fret number four here one two three four okay and then you're going to pinch string number three and string number two now that doesn't exactly sound real good but if you slide it up and then pick up on that number one string and then pick string number two and string number three watch just like that and that's how you do that and for those of you that know finger style or have been to any of the other finger style videos 
Your ring finger assigned to string number one down here. Your middle finger is assigned to string number two. And your pointer finger is assigned to string number three. And your thumb handles six, five, and four for your bass notes. So just take that, slide it up. Just like that. Now, you're going to slide down to get this other one, and you're going to pinch string number three and string number six. And do the same. So it's just like this. Okay? Then you're going to make a D chord and you're going to pick up on that number three string. Okay? Pick up on that number three string. Pinch strings four and one with your middle finger lifted in the D position and hammer it on. Hammer it on. And then pick up with your ring finger. Swipe across strings one and two. Yeah. Okay. Pick up number three. Your middle finger's lifted. Do a hammer on. Pinching strings four and one. Once you do that hammer on, lift it up and swipe the two bottom strings, your strings one and two. And then pick up number two by itself. Now you're going to go to an A chord, and you you really need to make the A chord kind of like this or like this, either one, as long as you get an individual finger on these notes on this second fret. And you're going to kind of twist a little bit. You got string number one, number two, and number three, and you're going to take your thumb for that number five bass note, and you're going to just like that. Okay, so it's... Okay. All right, you with me so far? All right, we're almost done. <laughs> it's that easy. All right, so I'm going to walk through it and uh, remind myself of how I do this A chord. Then I once I do this, I hit that number four bass note. And then come back and pick up the number six. So it's... I'm putting my, my little finger uh, just above my ring finger here in that A chord position. I'm on the number three, fl number three fret. Just like that. And then I pick up on that number three string. So. I've got my ring finger lifted. So. Pinch number five and pinch, pull up on the number one and number two string where you kind of kind of get that going and hammer it back on. So Let's do this again. Hit number four. Number three, number two. Just like that. And 
do a hammer on on this full E chord. Go from there to your E chord and do a hammer on with six and number three, which is your pointed finger. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. Six and swiping the two bottom. You want to try to get that swipe going all the way through this A chord down here. Four and three to four. I think I said this wrong earlier. I think I had you going down to two. Just like that. And then... That's six and three. Number four. Number three. And then number four again. Then you're going to make a G chord, but you're going to bring this little finger up to the number three fret. One, two, three. And uh, I'll go through that from the E chord so you can first see it, and then we'll talk about it. Now, when you transition from this E, remember, you're going to go 6-4, six, 6-4, four, six, four, six, four, six, four. You're going to maintain that bass note while you're doing this picking. Now I'm going to do this real slow and I'm going to zoom in uh, during this uh, uh, with the camera uh, on this. You know the chord position here. I'm going to zoom in so I don't have to count all this off uh, from a string standpoint. I walked you through the very first part of this G and, uh, and I'll zoom in and do this real slow. Okay, so you can watch me do it a couple of times. Let me, let me do this again. You're going to end on that number four bass note. Uh, sit with your guitar, pause that, do whatever you need to do. I think my fingers are not exactly, are they visible? Yeah, they're, they're visible there. And I'll try to get the camera zoomed in such that you can really see that, okay? That's probably the most complex thing in the whole song from a finger picking standpoint. the whole opening tune piece of it guys uh, and girls uh, I hope you can uh, do something with that like I said it's not a difficult song to uh, uh, to learn how to do it's just uh, uh, it takes a lot of practice just like anything else if you're pretty proficient at finger style this won't be too difficult for you at all if you've never played it it's kind of fun song it's a very relaxing song too by the way and I've, I've loved that song since it first came out and I do remember when it first came out uh, uh, also, uh, one other thing before we kind of exit the, the video tonight. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you find it useful. Uh, it's McKenzie and more. 
I think I've had it out every day since I bought it, uh, that I was home. I was gone last week. I was out of the country for a week. But uh, this, this is one phenomenal instrument, folks. Mackenzie and Marr. I just want to say it again. Uh, uh, if this guitar is representative of the kind of work that they do, what a phenomenal con uh, company and what a an unbelievable price point on this guitar. Uh, I think the next one on my list is uh, the Baby Boat. I think that's what they call it, the Baby Boat. It's a parlor. It's a pretty deep-bodied parlor with an Adirondack spruce top and... Uh, 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 rosewood. I don't, I don't remember if it's Brazilian rosewood or, or what kind of rosewood it is, but very, oh, goodness. Same tuners, uh, Grover's 18 ones and uh, open back. But uh, my goodness, what a guitar. I'm not selling this guitar either, folks. Can't have it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Shout out to those guys, man. What a, the Grand Manan 2. great guitar for articulating notes. I just am flat out in love with this. And by the way, I remember the uh, video that uh, turned me on to these. So I told you Colonel Terry up in Kentucky sent me a video. Uh, the lady's name is Cindy. I believe, believe she lives out in California. I think her channel is Guitar Notes. Uh, I'll drop a link to it in the description so you have it. Uh, she's a sweet lady. And my goodness, that girl can play guitar. Mm. Yeah, she's good on a guitar, and uh, she teaches uh, on the channel as well. So she might be a, a, another channel for sure that you'd want to check out if, uh, if you're into fingerstyle, that kind of thing. So anyway, I just thought I would uh, do a video tonight. Uh, I know I hadn't uploaded uh, quite as much lately, but I have honestly been traveling a lot and just haven't, I won't say I haven't had the time, I haven't taken the time. So the time I have had... Uh, I've just spent relaxing and spending some time with my wife. So, uh, and, and travel's fixing to pick back up again. So, uh, I wanted to get this one done. Uh, but I've also been trying to do these shorts, you know, uh, you know, because they're quick and and, uh, and and there's no talking in them. And, uh, you know, and it, it, it's, uh, it's a way to stay engaged on YouTube without doing a full video. I don't want to do all shorts, but... Uh, uh, I know our attention span is about this long as human beings, but uh, uh, that's why shorts are so popular. But, you know, it's the difference between uh, going and seeing a motivational speaker in the last couple of days versus actually getting taught something, right, that'll last you a lifetime. So uh, as I get older, I've got a lot more patience with uh, what I need to be spending my time with uh, from the standpoint of long-term benefit. And uh, a little longer videos, a little more beneficial, for a fact. Okay, folks, uh, thanks for joining the channel. It's uh, great to see everybody, and uh, I hope you found this one helpful. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time. God bless each and every one of you. I sincerely mean that.